Tēnā koutou te rope rea roa toru, nau maho ke mai ke ngā akaranga ki te kāinga. Ko tēnei te wiki te kou o tēnei wahanga, te wahanga atua toru o tēnei tau. And we have been talking about fractions, place value, and e nai nei, if we're looking at our fractions whare, uh, we see the decimal point there, which has been mentioned in other videos. So, me mōhio tato, a decimal is used to write a number that is not a whole number. So, when looking at our place value chart, all of our whare here, which represent our base 10 number system, everything on this side of the decimal point are whole numbers, or what we call integers. And what is happening on this side to the right of the decimal point? Now those are our fractional numbers, which are not whole numbers. So when we are talking about the fractional numbers, we know uh, decimals are used to write a whole number uh, that has been split, cut or divided up so that it's no longer a whole number like tahi, but it is part of a whole, just like our fractions. So they're known as fractional numbers or decimals. Now, last week we talked about 0 0.001 being the hundredth. And of course, when you uh, multiply that by 10, you get to have a hundredth. Okay, so when we have point zero one, that is like equivalent to one out of a hundred. Now, if we added point nine nine to point zero one, we would have like a hundred cents in order to make a dollar. Or when we multiply it by ten, we can get point one or zero point one zero point one zero just similar to the 10 cent piece. So we were looking at multiplying e tera wiki. So this week we are looking at the fractional whare and our knowledge of the decimal point. So when you think about how many more you might need, how many more tenths you may need to make dahi, to have a whole number or number one, we know that we'll need nine tenths or 90, 90 hundredths, which is also what we call cents, because cent means to have uh, out of a hundred. And then we know that when we're multiplying by 10, we're getting larger. And last week we also learned that dividing by 10 simply moves us back to the right. So instead of becoming larger when we're multiplying by 10, if we divide a thousand by 10, we get 100. 100 divided by 10 gives us 10. 10 divided by 10 gives us 1, and so on and so forth. So, we'll look at having our 2 pm Zoom meet in order to consolidate our learning of decimals and fractional numbers. Nurela Heikona.